What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to pick up where we left off, we declared war on the Prussians and we're starting to push them off of our territory. And as such we are, we are engaging this force here, hoping they would retreat up this, up across this bridge and then over onto this section of uh, Canada, rather than running down south into my slightly more exposed areas. Let's crack on. So the part of this, this is just partly to secure the continent because these two Canadian terror tenders are the only people, or the only troops remaining which can actually um, perform some sort of function. Once I knock them out then it's just a case of and then, then the region will be ours. So let's deploy, get you all out of the way. Hmm. Let's see, I've got my American mercenaries, so if I do that. Okay, I think I might deploy. I might deploy behind in this case. And then we mainly rely on my howitzers to provide close support. Just on the flanks, let's do two irregulars and an infantry unit like this. And then two irregulars and an infantry unit, three irregulars and an infantry unit on this flank, stretch it out a bit more. Wow, well, you're actually going to stay back here. Deploy them slightly like that, deploy them like that, general there, good, good, good. Actually, let's get you out of the way. Knocked out a few horse teams. When things get within range, switch these guys over to. Actually, I might just switch them over to quick climb now. Yes, because people, this poor unit of Hessian line infantry is in range. So are the guns actually. Comes the next salvo. Hidden infantry units. Hidden tribal auxiliary. Sweet. See the hill the hill I'm parked on looks much more The cannons don't look as in a bad position from here. So when we get to about here it might be tricky. But when they get to here they're within musket range of my troops, so should be okay. Start targeting these units a bit smarter. Actually, you hit them. My house, my foot, foot artillery can still keep hitting their artillery. These guys' skins haven't loaded again. Oh well. Fire! Oh, they're gonna hurt because they're at angle. So I've made them all target one particular gun. Hmm. 
Ooh, my house not firing yet. Speed this up a little bit. Because this is only one of the only a mopping up exercise really. If they wanna sit at distance and be shot to bits with artillery, then more than welcome. Well actually to be honest, I might just move up. Ooh, that would have been devastating. There you go. Everyone's in the line. Line infantry, regulars, skirmishers, everyone. There you go. The first shots have been fired against the colonial militia. So let's take. Let's move. Move my cavalry up. Oh wow, did I actually root a thorn? Oh, I thought they had more than this for some reason. Oh, yeah, they got some hidden native troops. So let's spin you around. Let's So deploy my cavalry to go hit their general. See, now I know that my general kills my own troops when he charges through them. I do actually make a conscious effort to not <laughs> charge them through my troops. Ha, <laughs> they just shot a load of their own men. Well, that's a lot of native troops. Fine, we'll chop through the native troops. Because this is what they do. And I am going to throw some infantry in and support because my howitzers can deal with the remaining troops See, they are starting to get me down now. There you go, now it's just the... Now it's just the one. Well, my knee, my mercenaries are holding them up. Eh, go on, let's make a bit of a combat out of it. Don't really care. They're not, they're not, it's not the efficient, most efficient way to get over it, to deal with it, but, you know. I'm on the doorstep of my own territory, I'm not necessarily bothered about efficiency. See, these guys have gone completely mental. Killed some weary men there, but whatever. Let's 
This is the American mercenary with the Mexican flag. So he's not to go out. If they want to be that way, I can snipe them with all of my artillery. Probably gonna break soon. I mean, they're the target of everything. Of course, there's a native bowman auxiliary. Charge him, just straight in. So my grenadiers are there. So where is? Send it. I say there's a hidden. There's a hidden gun there that was still firing away. That's a bit of a scrappy battle, but it is my first battle of the session, so I suppose that's part of the reason for it. <laughs> Good, exactly where I wanted to go. Then let's get them up to the bridge. Prepare. Well, okay, so let's get you into here. Infiltrate. So what have they got? Mm, pretty benign troops. They see the Prussians have started, so they've, see they've sent a couple of stacks up this direction. Of course, I will chase them down. But can you leave yet? Please. Oh, God dang it. Send him up here to start to try and knock out some of these Prussian generals. And then let's check my priests still converting. There's a fleet of Indiamen, well that's enough. Let's get these guys. Embarked. Let's get a move to Europe. Because, yeah, the Brits hold these two, and I'm not going to fight them because I'm allied with the Brits. Oh, God. Lags green. There we go. So, if I move my troops out, will you freak out? Yes, you will. Unless I build you a happiness building, but I'm not going to do that. I want to build industrial. But actually, then again, how much money are you realistically going to earn? Let's do that. It makes more. It's more important for me to get that army out of there. It'll get better once I build more government buildings. Okay, so lists, agents. Make sure my missionaries are. I only have one missionary. Got loads of gentlemen, one missionary, loads of rakes. Wow, I'm spawning loads of rakes. <laughs> the dark one is gathering all armies to him. Javier Garocho. Then he needs one more unit of infantry. Let's get a unit of regular line. There he is. Sweet. Yes, yeah, so if I can get this guy to, uh, if I can get, make, get free this army up, I can send them north and start sparring with some of these troops. Because they need to replenish. To be honest, I've got lots of stacks here. Well, one of them is going to have to go up, and or some of them are going to have to go up and finish off this Quebecian army. Actually, if we send my navy. Now, if I do that, there's no way they can come over and help 
this beleaguered army in Antigua. So let's assault Antigua. So once we've hit them, look out the Bahamas, and then that stack in the port becomes... It just disappears, there's no, no need to worry about it and deal with it. War is too much a serious thing to be left to military men, says the diplomat. <sighs> Diplomats, though, are usually far, far too unaware about all their military to do. Probably going to be a bit of a bloodbath because they've just got lots of rubbish pirate infantry. Oh, that's the end of the, of the line. Put a militia infantry unit to go deploy out on the flank. So you're all one unit, or one flank. Deploy my colonial line. Deploy a unit of militia. Keep my hussars together, because together they're about the size of a regular infantry unit, a regular cavalry unit. Always forget my howitzers. I could just deploy them there, but I don't really that's not where I want them to be. And to be honest, they can take their time. That that artillery's not critical. Good old musketry will be enough to deal with these guys because they pretty much just got far like armed citizenry, buccaneers who are they're just melee infantry. Don't see any weapons and colonial militia. Wow that's a cavalry death trap there. <laughs> Try to run through all them. It's really shrapnel shot. You guys, your range is probably... We can start to do shrapnel shot now. Yeah, that's the end of that buccaneer unit. They didn't want anything to do with this. Oh, you know, actually, you have garrison club in line. To be honest, to get them in, I might just do that. <laughs> Got my hussars. If anyone tries to get any clever ideas. have them peck at a distance with round shot to try get some experience chevrons seem to know what they want to do. <laughs> yeah, quick climb is just... Well, no, they can hit units, but yeah, may as well try to get them to get, get some 
like that one slight experience everyone gets them it makes them a bit better at reloading and a bit more accurate let's be a bit experimental See if you try to deploy them as an actual... So I know this unit's not well deployed, but that's plenty of firepower to use against the flank of such a weak... weak formation. fire against junior buccaneers. The idea is we can just effectively just roll up one of their flanks. Oh no, they're moving in. This is now where it all starts to fall apart for them because they've started to hit, they've started to hit my line. Yeah, they just don't have the ability to stand up. It's my firepower. Because the centre is just a route, so. Throw my hussars in there just to try to get some free kills. This is just silly. <laughs> Probably not want to chase them down because I'm after their city. Oh no, my hussars! Run, 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 run. I was looking out for these, but I thought these were over here somewhere, so I thought I must have missed them. Oh well. Live and learn. Go for them! So it'll be, but that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Just a mass route. This is what happens when you garrison your armies with rubbish. Oh god, is an army still here? 
Ray of one round shot. Well on army, but I don't know if they're trying to run because they're actually trying to flee. Either way, engage them with my regiment of colonial line. Which is my Fusileros to uh, hit their unit of militia. This isn't a wave as soon because all of the artillery on the map is engaged in them at them. Fifty six regiment of fight. We knock that house down. <laughs> Is. But yeah, they got nothing. Just knock it out there. I think if we keep blockading the port, back against me. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, lost 60 men. The region is ours. Let's do that, and then let's take. To be honest, if I took this army out, will they be very upset? Not overly so. So see this navy over here. Let's drop them off here. Off the Jamaican coast, and let's take this army around here and blockade the port. So they will be done next turn, because that's their capital. Port Royal. Port Royal. Right here, what's happening? Right here, so let's go over to Europe. Ah, uh, yes. You're coming around to push them out, but that's good because I don't want you to push them out. Why, why? Or, or, you were just a delaying tactic. Maintain for now. What I want to do is take this navy. Drop your troops off. Drop them off. Here? Yeah. So I think if I drop this stack, then he this navy here, they can't cross. So I've sealed off this area. And then do I use this army or do I use you? I use you this army. Let's assault and capture Copenhagen to get a hold on the European continent. Start engaging the Prussians and the Russians in, in revolution. There are only two sorts of men: those who cause them and those who profit by them. Okay, so let's put ground battery on the flank. Put houses in the center. Form a battle line, just a giant battle line. Stop my cavalry around. Oh yeah, 
best horse artillery. Let's limb you up and redeploy you in the, towards the front. Guards, Swiss pikes, and West European infantry mercenaries. Oh, yeah, you need to get hit by quick loan. Marching in column. God, they do take a country age to run, to reload. So you're going to, to arrive. Can see that unit, I hope. Miss, misfire, miss. There we go, we've opened fire on the pikemen. Close the distance, pikemen. Chase down those Swiss mountain Jaegers. There we go, that's knocked out those Swiss mountain Jaegers. I never intended on this being a fair battle. To be honest, they, did, they weren't really equipped to make it a fair battle, so... Them's the brakes. <laughs> As the quick clan comes tumbling in. There we go. Oh no, there's one. The Swiss pikes have come back. They are charging my grenadiers.
Get him in. Let's absolutely not quick line them. You might be brilliant in melee, but we're coming after you. There you go, let's speed it up. It's just... Oh no, they've routed. Sweet. So Copenhagen is secured without worry of Prussian attack because we've got my army blocking the straight. God, this town isn't very developed at all, is it? Minus 12. Where's your university? Let's destroy you. Oficial encubierta. Then let's probably send you down to finish them off. Adelante por la corona y la nación. Perfect. So I've got a nice little foothold with which to draw the helpless Prussian iron filings towards us. And then we also have St. Petersburg, where our new another army is being recruited. And to be honest, I could probably do with just recruiting a load of infantry just to sit in St. Petersburg. Question is, where do I go? East, west, Moscow. Is the Leeward Islands secured? We're gonna go for Jamaica. Trade gained. Being a brilliant soldier there. Brilliant. Yep. Plus two to morale. Lovely. Denmark is ours. Gerald the Franco, hero of the army. Good. You're becoming a bit of a badass, aren't you, Gerald? Though you're 43, so you've got a bit of time before you die. Cool, looking at the timer. I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.